Day three of the NCAA convention continued the efforts to enhance the student athlete experience. Glenn Jones, chair of the Division II President's Council, discusses meeting with the Division II SAC and the issues of voluntold activities for student athletes. Of course, those series of dialogues, one of our students brought up this concept of voluntold, where, vol where activities were presented as being purely voluntary, but when you didn't volunteer, you were punished for it. And so from our standpoint, we wanted to make certain that we really listen to our students, really understand uh, that concept. Our student athletes went back. These discussions took place on our various campuses around the country. We had more feedback at this meeting. So we'll come back in April and really have a plan of action in terms of how to address this whole issue of voluntold in a manner that preserves the integrity of life and the balance, but also just the mental well-being of our student athletes. In Division Three, President's Council Chair Jeff Docking details the importance of meeting with the Division Three SAC and their impact on the Council's decisions. I don't think there's anything more valuable that we do at the NCAA convention than hear from SAC. You know, the student voice is, at the end of the day, the most important voice. And none of us in the administration, at the coaching level, at athletic director level, really necessarily understand the student voice, certainly as well as the students do. So to create fora where students can come together and say these are the issues that are important to us, this is what we want you to know about our experience, it's very, very important to all of us. Eric Kaler, Chair of the Division I Board of Directors, and Bud Peterson, Chair of the Board of Governors, discusses the joint statement on their commitment to swift action on the future recommendations from the Commission on College Basketball. The Division I Board uh, will have the responsibility of receiving uh, the recommendations from the Commission together with the, with the Board of Governors, who governs the entire association. Uh, the D1 Board then will uh, evaluate those recommendations, turn them to uh, the D Division I Council to turn those recommendations into policies and actions, and we will do that uh, effectively and efficiently at our April meeting with the idea that uh, legislation will return uh, in August. Essentially what we did uh, at this meeting was to first uh, develop a process by which the board could review and accept and endorse and approve the recommendations and then move them forward to the appropriate legislative bodies to actually enact and uh, implement those. The Division I Autonomy Forum focused on medical coverage for student athletes. Forum members Alyssa Rice, a basketball student-athlete at the University of Kentucky, and Demetrius Jackson, a football student-athlete at the University of Miami, spoke on the progress of this topic. In the discussion today, there was a very good fair, just being able to give the student-athlete as much um, coverage as they can and giving the institution that, re that responsibility to take care of their student-athletes in the best possible way. It's going to make uh, student-athletes feel more safe and uh, it's not going to put a hole in their pocket because I just had surgery. I had a meniscus surgery. And if I did this outside of football, probably somewhere else, I wouldn't know if my insurance would cover it or where I'd be able to get the money from. So, you know, it's just safe to know, to, as student athletes, to know that uh, the coaches care about us, the institutions care about us. We're not just a profit. We're family. We have relationship. And uh, it's just beneficial. I wish, I pray that we get this passed, you know. Um, so athletes can take advantage of this all over. President Mark Emmert's State of the College Sports Address incorporated a discussion with current student athletes. President Emmert also presented the Pat Summit Award to MIT Athletics Director Julie Soreo in recognition of her career-long dedication to college athletics. Continuous coverage of convention is available on NCAA.org. You can also follow the conversation on Twitter with the hashtag NCAACONV.